know that I'm not a highly technical person when it comes to Linux. I'm just a normal novice user just trying to get rid of Windows and get full time onto Linux. Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a Linux video, so I wanted to jump back on here and get back on that. For whatever reason, Mango Hood is not working for me anymore. So the only thing that I have to go by is in-game frame rate meter that's built into Steam. I've tried everything with the Mango Hood and it just it's not working. And it's very unreliable anyway. It's nice when it does work, but when it doesn't, it's a nightmare. So what I've done it, is just initiated the default compatibility for space engineers i have not forced anything this is going to be when you uh first install it and make everything compatible with non-native games and this is what we're dealing with so I'll just show you my uh there's my system information a brief overview of it and we're just going to go ahead and load in and see what happens this is not going to be a how to play space engineers or anything like that it's going to be does it work on open susa tumbleweed or linux in general and if so how well does it work so let's go i wanted to also add that i'm using display capture so it may affect the frame rates a little bit but for those that don't know space space engineers is capped at 120 frames per second anyway it has to do with the physics in the game they have to cap it so it's a forced thing. It's not anything I've done. We're going to go ahead and I did do a trial run. We're going to go ahead and do a new game. I actually landed in on the ice with the, uh, on that last one. That never happens. I'm going to say this is going to be the name of it. And I'm actually going to add some mods. It's mostly quality of life stuff and sneaky sounds. If you're recording or streaming is absolute, it's absolutely necessary. If I can find it. There it is. What else do I want to add? Uh, let's see. Don't want to go too crazy. Oh yeah, we'll add that. Just quality of life stuff. Sure, why not? We'll just go ahead and... Yes, I love the stackable wind turbines. I think that's required by another one. Let's go there. I think that, that one is also required. Let's just go ahead. I just said a couple of mods, but we're just going to go ahead and run what I would normally run, which is basically just quality of life stuff. And I feel like I am missing something. Let's see. That's good. Let's just go start the game up. And I'm going to start on the Earth-like planet because that is the most graphic intensive. On my trial run, it had a, it had a steady tw 120 frames per second, but with the display capture running, which I know is not optimal, we're just going to do it that way because I don't want to have to stitch a bunch of videos together and I just wanted to you know show that I was in Linux and not trying to cheat or anything like that it takes a little while to load with all the mods and I will say when you first install this game and you launch it for the first time for me it took forever to freaking load that first time but once it did everything was good and then I backed out and relaunched it several times it loaded up normally after that just that initial time was uh, quite long and as I stated in my previous video, I'm not a Linux expert. I'm quite the novice, even though I've been dipping my toes in Linux so much over, I'd say, 20 years. I can't retain knowledge, and I forget a lot. So it's like I'm constantly relearning things. So... I'm just always going to be the perpetual noob. Okay, that was a rough start there. I don't know if the display capture has anything to do with it or not, but go ahead and let it roll. I did do a test video last night with window capture, and it was totally fun. But and from now on, I will do it that way because performance-wise, it's just best. Okay, we're on the planet. Got our handy dandy drill out. Even with display capture running, it feels smooth. I do notice my frame rates are lower than last night when in motion. And I'll show you what I'm running here. Let's see. That should be full screen. And I'm running high everything. Yeah, with window capture instead of or 
instead of display capture, it was running a full 120. Display capture seems to have quite the effect on uh, your frame rates. And just to prove that, here's what I'm going to do. I'm doing this in real time. I'm going to add a window capture. Base engineers. I'm going to disable that screen capture. We're going to go back. Yeah, and my frame rates are up to 120. Wait, I'm going to have to redo that, relaunch the game. Because it goes over to my secondary monitor when I do that for some reason. Okay, going to relaunch. Yeah, that instantly improved my frame rates. I really wish Mango HUD would work. If no anyone knows a good alternative to that, please, please let me know in the comments. Okay, we're using the game or window capture mode now. You, as you can see, all my settings are the same. And my frame rates are instantly back up to 120. And it feels really good, it feels really smooth. It feels like it does on Windows. And for anybody wondering, yes, your mods and everything do follow you because that's saved in the cloud. But if you install this in Linux, your Windows save games will not transfer over through the cloud. Ask me how I know. Yeah, but we'll just uh, do some digging. It's holding a, a steady 120, like I said. The developers have this capped at 120 frames per second because of the physics. But yeah, it looks really good. Plays really smooth. So this is another one on the list to uh, that works with OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Now, I have been test driving some other Linux distros lately. And MX Linux comes to mind. I really wanted to turn that into my new daily driver, but... Everything was awesome. It even uses my preferred Windows Manager or uh, desktop environment, which is XFCE. But the gaming, even though the frames per second were like really good, it just didn't feel smooth. And I tried to tweak and tweak and everything else, and I just could not get it to be as smooth as it is on OpenSUSE or even Pop! OS or uh, Solus. Which, by the way, are my top three distros. Not in any particular order. Pop! OS, Solus, and, of course, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. I like all three of them for different reasons. And if anybody's interested in, in a video about that, I'll, I'll definitely consider making it. Just know that I'm not a highly technical person when it comes to Linux. I'm just a normal novice user just trying to get rid of Windows and get full-time onto Linux. And gaming has been the big thing that has, has held me back. But it's gotten so good over the past couple years, thanks to Valve. A lot of it's thanks to Valve. And uh, just about don't need Windows anymore. Anyway, Space Engineers works. Earth-like Planet is one of the more demanding graphically. This game is kind of resource intensive anyway, even in Windows. But uh, yeah, I'm running in my monitor's native resolution. Max, I don't, well not max, but high. Turning these things up to max or extreme. I have a 3070, it only has eight gigs of VRAM, so pushing it way too hard. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna think about what the next game I'm gonna test is.